Question 7. Part B. At the beginning of 1991, Australia's population was 17 million. At the beginning of 2004, the population was 20 million. Assume that the population P is increasing exponentially and satisfies an equation of the form P equals A times E to the power of KT, where A and K are constants and T is measured in years from the beginning of 1991. Part 1. Show that P equals A times E to the power of KT satisfies DP DT equals KP. Starting with P equals A times E to the power of KT and noting that A is a multiplying constant, applying the chain rule, we get DP DT is equal to AE to the power of KT multiplied by the derivative of the index of E, so the derivative of KT is K. So dp dt is equal to a times e to the power of kt times k. Now, if we go back to the original equation, a e to the power of kt is equal to p. So we replace this part of the expression with p. So dp dt is equal to p times k, which equals kp. Therefore, dp dt is equal to kp as required. Part 2. What is the value of a? A represents the initial population. So at time t equals zero, the population P is equal to 17 million. Now if we substitute 17 million for P in the equation P equals A times E to the power of KT, noting that T is equal to zero, we get 17 million equals A times E to the power of K times zero. Now K times zero, of course, is zero. And E to the power of zero is equal to one. So 17 million is equal to A times one, which means A is 17 million. Part three, find the value of K. We need to apply a boundary condition in order to find the value of K. Now it's given in the question that in 2004, the population was 20 million. We need to find the value of T that corresponds to 2004. Now we know that at t equals zero, that corresponds to the year 1991, so this is the initial year. At t equals 10, that corresponds to 2001. So at t equals 13, that corresponds to the year 2004. So applying the boundary condition, t equals 13, population 20 million, into the formula, p equals a times e to the power of kt, now that we've found the value of a in part two, which was 17 million, we get 20 million is equal to 17 million times e to the power of 13k. Dividing both sides of the equation by 17 million, we get 20 over 17 is equal to e to the power of 13k. Taking the natural logarithm of both sides to cancel this e, this raising to base e, we get ln of 20 over 17 is equal to 13k. Then dividing both sides of the equation by 13 to isolate k, we get k is equal to 1 over 13 times ln 20 over 17. And I've left k in exact form. Part 4. Predict the year during which Australia's population will reach 30 million. Solve for t the equation 30 equals 17 times e to the power of kt, where k is equal to 1 over 13 times ln of 20 over 17, which we found in part 3. Now it's easier to write the equation this way, in other words, rather than writing 30 million and 17 million, we can interpret the 30 and the 17 as 30 million and 17 million anyway. It just makes the equation easier to solve. So dividing both sides of the equation by 17, we get 30 over 17 is equal to e to the power of kt. Now we need to isolate the t somehow, so we're going to take the natural logarithm of both sides. So we get ln of 30 over 17 is equal to kt. This was a similar step that we did in part 3. Now isolating the t by dividing both sides of the equation by k, we get t is equal to 1 over k times ln of 30 over 17 or we can write it as ln 30 over 17 divided by k. Now we know the value of k, it's in exact form. 
So evaluating this expression here, we get 45.433 years and so on. But we need to find the year in which the population reaches 30 million people. So starting with the year 1991 and adding on 45.433, we get the year 2036.433. The way we interpret that result is that somewhere between 1st of January 2036 and 31 December 2036, the population will reach 30 million people.